This is the micro homily for the 28th of December. Please read the readings before listening to the homily. The scholar John Mackenzie wrote that the family history of Herod is a story of violence and terror. That massacre of the innocents, hoping to make sure he murdered Jesus, is perfectly consistent with his way of doing things. At least nine members of his own family he had murdered for fear they might develop into a threat to his throne. We are rightly horrified by the darkness of his decision-making that his hold on power is worth any number of other people's lives. But the first reading warns us not to deceive ourselves into thinking we have no darkness in ourselves. It's the person who admits they have sinned who is the person who can receive Christ's forgiveness and be transformed into a child of the light. But the person who insists there is no darkness in them is condemning themselves to remain in that darkness. How do we avoid that self-deception? By asking ourselves uncomfortable questions about our attitudes. When Joseph had the message from the angel, he got up instantly that night and Joseph, Mary and Jesus set off as refugees to save Jesus' life. We've no record of what their experience was like as a refugee family. Were they welcomed and given opportunities? Were they shunned and spurned? We don't know. And even if we did know, there's nothing now we could do about it. But here's something that is under our control. Our own attitude to refugees. 